Thank I you. I like it. <laughs> now, Kat, you always look incredible every show. Thank you. Dance aside, do you have a favorite outfit from these past <gasps> 250 shows? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. I actually don't know. I hadn't even thought about that. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I mean, I've had, I've had a few. I remember there was one that was, uh, it was one that I'd bought from Gucci during the Tom Ford period where he was designing for them. And I wore it to my first big award show back in London, but it was probably 20 years ago I wore it and I dug it out and it's like a little kind of Chinese dress. It's got embroidery on and stuff. Okay. And I dug it out and I um, wore it and it still fitted. Oh. And I loved it. <laughs> and that was what, it, I think that was a triumphant moment for yeah. me and Tom Ford. And being a part of a dancing show, are we ever going to see you dance, Kat? No, a little I bit? Don't, <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, a little bit. I could, don't mind a bit of a shoulder shimmy. <laughs> I will happily dance at some, it's actually Courtney Galliano's wedding, okay. who is Courtney from season two. It's her wedding this Sunday and my husband and I are going and I fully intend to rip up oh. that dance floor. <laughs> Have you ever taken a dance class before? Yes, when I was a little girl I took ballet. Um, but I wasn't very good at it. I was all a bit sixes and sevens. And I also have this weird hip thing that I could, so I can't really do like a proper, and also I was just very clumsy. My mom was just trying to turn me into a little girl a little bit, I think, and it didn't really work. Do you almost feel like a dance expert? Cause you get, you've seen so many dances and so many different styles. I don't feel like an expert, but what I do feel is I have a great, massively huge appreciation of dance now and and I will and I can't tell you when something is technically brilliant but I can tell you when something moves me in a way where I get chills or right. or just something that touches you which is what any great piece of art should be able to do and I can tell you when something's great like that I can't tell you you know a paradiddle from a <laughs> arabesque to a you know I, all that I can't do but I can tell you when I like something or when I love something and I love these kids. Yes. How impressed were you with them tonight about the chore choreographing their routine? It was actually really, really impressive because there's a certain level of maturity that normally has to come before you can choreograph. Um, and they did a great job. I thought it would stand up against any yeah. of our regular choreography, actually. And, and they were imaginative and bright and they used their talents and great music. And I think the biggest thing of all, they have this connection between their all-stars now. I think all of these guys from tonight have an amazing connection with their all-stars. And I think they've learnt a lot, too, in the process of being on the show. Kat, as a host of the show, how different has this season been for you working with children as opposed to adult dancers? Uh, it, you know what? It hasn't been that different, actually. Um, what I love is, and it was one of the things, actually, before I did the show, I was a little bit nervous about it because I thought, A, are the kids actually going to be any good? Or am I going to have to constantly remind the audience that they're seven? Yeah. Or, uh, and B, are they going to be precocious and bratty and, and a bit stagey? Because I, I don't like that either. I like Hollywood. <laughs> I like kids to be kids. Yeah. Um, but what's really interesting is that on stage, they do what they do and they are insanely brilliant. Like, I, I mean, easily hold their own with the adults. And then they walk off the stage and they're still just kids again. And there is no filter. And they know that they have to go back and share a, a bedroom with their stinky brother and go back to school on Monday. And so it's actually, it's actually because it's not going to change their life immediately, it's actually really good fun because it is just like having a summer job or a, a, a holiday job, you know. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I feel as though I've been doing this for two minutes. I think, I think it's always that thing where time flies when you're having fun. And I'm having bucket loads. And I love what I do. And so it feels like, it feels like I've been here for a couple of years, you know. It feels like I'm part of the furniture. Thank you so much, Kat. I'm Kat Dilly and you've just been buzzed.